say this at the outset, this is going to be very difficult because <clears throat> my sister and my sister-in-law and my wife and I we were very close. And Deborah was what I would believe anybody that is young and aspiring to do something with their life, Deborah Gary Hill was an example of that. She was young and enterprising in her youth, and that carried to her senior years. And in her senior years, she touched down on so many different communities. One of her great contributions to the city of Philadelphia, she started the STEM program at the uh, Zion Baptist Church. And when we were going through the funeral, uh, uh, the eulogy, a young man got up from Temple University and said, it just so happens we are going to partner with Zion Baptist Church to start or expand on the STEM program that Deborah Gary started. And I'm sitting there, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm sitting in there, yes. This is about someone's legacy of contribution where an institution like Temple University decided to pick up on it. So I always challenge my audience. You know, uh, I did this piece right here some years ago on Marian Anderson, the great singer and activist Marian Anderson, and it was called MAMA, The Massive Archives of Marian Anderson. And in those archives, my challenge to the people was her massive archives, her receiving proclamations and keys to cities. How many of us in this room have a key to a city besides the door to our home or our car? How many? 
many of us in here have had proclamations named in our honor? And I tell you, as I stand here, I witnessed that with my dear sister-in-law, Deborah Gary Hill. She got two proclamations today from the city, along with other ones she has gathered over the years. And this is for you, Deborah.
Tie your roof, folks. Tie your roof. TR7. Tie your roof. Thank you.